Oh, we haven't seen this guy around in a while. Yeah, I know, because every time I sous vide and I have to put something in a plastic bag, I feel really bad having to throw that in the garbage. So I just picked up these silicone bags that we're making salmon today. We're not salmon, we're making trout today. But these silicone bags, and I'm really hoping that um, they will do just as good a job uh, sous vide as plastic bags. So we're not constantly tossing plastic bags into the garbage. We're making steelhead trout with a miso glaze today, or marinade, and I'm just using their basic salmon recipe in their app. So I'm just gonna turn that on now so that we can get our water going. And it's so easy, you just pick the basic salmon recipe, set the time or temperature, and I just use their favorite. And mine are, how thick are they? Maybe an inch, but an inch. Yeah. So it says 40 minutes cook time, and I'm gonna hit start. Yeah. Uh oh, there we go. So I started off with some warmish tap water so it doesn't take as long to warm up. And of course, something I never talk about is that I do protect my counter with a. Um, what are they called? Trivet. <laughs> With a trivet so that it doesn't harm my surface. So I'm just going to quickly make the marinade. We're going to start with a quarter cup of mirin. I didn't open this bottle yet. So a quarter cup of mirin. Two tablespoons of soy. Two tablespoons of rice vinegar. Quarter cup of miso paste, and I am using a organic white miso, but you can use whatever miso you have or can find. If you guys are wondering what my measure measurements are all about, I'm just using the lines on the measuring cup. You mean you're not using your famous whatever? Well, it is kind of whatever because I'm not, I didn't pull out another tablespoon just to add the right, correct amounts, but it's enough to, I don't know, you don't have to be perfect, but just estimate. And a couple of teaspoons of sesame oil. And then I'm going to grate some ginger. So I've grated about two teaspoons and I'm just done. You're just done as in like it could be more, <laughs> but you just had enough of the ginger. Yeah, because you know, you know, it takes effort. Whatever. <laughs> okay, and we're just gonna whisk that together. I also have. I'm gonna do them both in a plastic bag and in a sous vide bag and see how it goes. So I'm going to pour half of my marinade in here and I've already cut them up into fillets and I've sprinkled a little salt on them. Normally I do this recipe in the oven so I just marinate the fish for about, I don't know, half an hour to an hour in the fridge and then I put it on a baking sheet and I cook it at a 425 degree oven. In the whole filet, I don't cut them up into pieces. Um, and I cook them for about 20 minutes and it's really good that way. But I just wanted to try sous vide and see how uh, moist this version is. Whoa, I almost spilt marinade onto the floor. Hmm. Surprise, <laughs> surprise. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so now we're just waiting for the water to come to temperature. Your water is heated. Add okay. food and tap start. Okay, so I'm going to this one in first. Put that in 
place. And this one, I don't know, I'm already like hesitant. Well, you did as much research as you could on Amazon and see how it turns out. Okay, so I'm going to seal this. Oh, just as a disclaimer, uh, this is not a paid or sponsored or anything like that. Nope. Flo just found these bags on Amazon.com and uh, in the hopes of getting away from using the plastic bags. So we're just giving them, giving them a try. All right. Hopefully this will work. Okay, 40 minutes it said, right? Yep. Oh, well, you had to click start. All right, it's starting. Oh yeah, there we go. Here is a little tip about miso paste. I don't go through a lot of miso, so I like my miso to be able to last longer than it does if I just stored it like this in the fridge. So I have a piece of parchment paper, and I'm just going to press it into, um, so that it's touching all of the miso paste, and that will help keep it fresh for longer. Also, you can store it in the freezer. I know I'm making noise like that put the lid back on and then you can store it in the freezer and miso paste doesn't freeze into a solid piece of ice so you can just scoop as much as you need straight out of the freezer as well and that will make it last longer Ta-da! all right they're ready to go so i'm just going to turn off the sous vide you just turn off by pressing it down until the light turns white and we'll see what the difference is between sous vide in the plastic bag and sous vide in the silicon bag. So at this point you can um, sear the fish from skin side down in the pan, but we're just going to cut into this one. You can see that it's super moist and soft and tender. And then we'll get the other one out as well. It's just as tender. Also, it works just as well in the sous vide bag or the silicon bag versus um, so here's the difference between the two. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, very excited. All right, goodbye, plastic bags. All right. Well, are you going to have a taste or, or what? You should have a taste of each. Because well, someone from the audience is going to ask. All right. I'm going to just cut a little piece off so I don't contaminate everybody's fish. I hate eating in front of people, let alone camera. Mm. That, that one was the plastic, plastic bag sous vide. And this one is the silicon bag. Hmm. Well, I have to say the silicon bag one is more tender than the plastic bag one. Not sure why, but We'll have to try it on different meats. Yeah. Okay. If you like this video, please click like. And if you don't already subscribe, please subscribe to my channel and find me on Facebook. I have a new Facebook page as well as follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Scared me.